Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an open ender chest. Oh, and by the way, just in case you have any more building related needs, I would highly recommend checking out the card system because in there, if you like this build, there will be loads of playlists and other videos linked as well that I think that you guys will really want to check out, including the closed version of the ender chest, should you prefer that. But moving on, if you want to make the ender chest, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some block of gold and some obsidian. Then grab yourself some light blue stained clay. Then flip over and grab yourself some white wool, some black wool, grab dark green, lime green, cyan, and finally guys, grab yourself some magenta wool. And luckily for us, luckily for us, those are the only materials that we're going to be needing. So once you have each one of those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you're going to want to kick off your ender chest with a row of 10 black wool coming directly up from the ground. That's 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then take this 10th block and go right of it by 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Take that 13th block and drag it all the way down to the ground. Then take the block that touches the ground and connect it all the way back to where you first started. So you want to have a square shape or actually a rectangular shape that should look exactly like this. Now, once you have your rectangular shape, this is what you want to do next. You want to take each one of the four corners of your rectangle and you want to take them, extend them, coming towards you each by 13. That's with the black wall by 13, one three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I'm fairly sure that that row is 13. So I'm not going to bother counting out any of the other rows. I'm just going to kind of like match it up to that very first row that I've done. And I might have to shave off a couple of blocks or add some to the other rows, but we have that bottom left benchmark that we can just kind of work with and that we can avoid counting out 13 for additional time so we'll connect the bottom together as well once you have each one of your four rows of 13 you connect them together guys you go all the way around in that rectangular shape and you connect them together so you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this we now have a 3d rectangular shape now once you've got that taken care of this is what you want to do next so whilst we are playing with the black wall I suppose that we should probably do the actual lid of the ender chest. So the lid of my ender chest is actually going to go on this very back side that we have here. So like for instance, this is the front of my chest. So I guess at any point in time right now, any one of these four sides can be the front of your ender chest. It doesn't really matter because they're all equal at the moment, but it is going to be important later and now where the front of your ender chest is. So select a side, once you've figured that out, you want to come all the way around to the back of your chest. And up diagonally of the back top horizontal row of black wall that we have at the top back of the chest, we want to do another horizontal row of black. So if you can see like up outwards diagonally, we want to have a horizontal row of black like that. We then want to take this very first row, this very first black block in this horizontal row, and we want to extend it going up by 13. So this first black wall block up by 13. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then you want to go right of it by. 13. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then connect it all the way down to the opposite side of your chest. So that horizontal row of black that we have, just connect it all the way down to give you this shape. What we now want to do is we want to move through the black square that we've made and we want to take the back four corners of the black square and we want to extend them each coming back by three. That's oh, 1, 2, 3. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then we just want to connect each one of those together, and that will be the actual lid of the ender chest 
pretty much complete, or at least the outline complete, isn't it? Obviously, it isn't complete just yet. We have a lot more to do, mainly colouring this whole thing in, but this is the actual, like, base shape. So, in total, you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this so far. You guys can see how this is. It kind of looks like a seat, actually, or a toilet, but that's what you want to have so far. Now, once you've got that taken care of, we're going to take care of a couple of the unique sides, and then we're going to do the mass building part. So, starting with the front bottom part of the chest coming all the way down to the bottom left hand corner here we want to do this we've got to build up the rows going from left to right so going from left to right do this sequence of blocks guys do one obsidian one light blue clay two obsidian one clay two cyan wool one clay then two obsidian one clay one obsidian that's row number one, that's how all of the other rows are going to get built up. So, for the next row, going from left to right, do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one cyan wool, two dark green, one cyan, then four obsidian. For the next row, do three obsidian, one cyan, then four lime wool, one cyan, Three obsidian. For the next two rows, guys, do two obsidian, then one cyan, then one dark green, one lime green, two black, one lime green, one dark green, one cyan. To obsidian and like I said once you've done that to the first row you want to do the same thing to the row just directly above it so we're now very carefully just copying each one of those blocks that we have just below and we're throwing it on the second row like that then for the next row going from left to right do three obsidian then do one cyan one white then three lime one cyan Three obsidian. For the next row, do four obsidian, then one cyan, two dark green, one cyan, four obsidian. And for the final row of the front of the chest, you want to do five obsidian, that's one, two, three, four, five, then two cyan, then five obsidian to give you something which should look a little bit like this. Perfect. That is what you want for the front bottom part of the chest. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. So we're going to take care of the entire bottom part of the chest first before we move up top. So... Moving on to this left hand side first, however, we do have to do this very same pattern on each one of the three other sides. You want to do this to the left hand side first of all. So coming down to the bottom left hand corner first, going from left to right to this sequence of blocks. Do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay one obsidian. So you want to have four evenly spaced light blue clays. Now, on top of the most left first blue clay, you want to go up by one with the clay. On top of the second, up by two. On top of the third, up by one. And the fourth, you want to leave completely alone. You can then proceed to fill the rest of the area in with obsidian. So, we're just going to completely fill this fang in with obsidian. And then we'll actually be doing the exact same thing to the two other sides. And I do mean the exact same thing. It's not mirrored or anything like that. Like, to the back we'll be doing this. To the opposite side we'll be doing this. So, like, the left-hand side of the chest will be different to the right-hand side of the chest. Because it's not mirrored, if you guys understand my meaning. So, this is what you want to have for the bottom left hand side now let's do it to the back and then the right hand side so we're on the back and i'm only going to explain this one more time so bottom left corner going from left to right we do one obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay one obsidian then from the first clay we do one on top of the second clay we go up by two third clay one and one and then on top of each one of the other clays on top of each one of the other blocks filling in the entire space we want to just throw obsidian everywhere out so very much how we just did the first side we want to do the same thing to the second side and then guess what guys guess what 
No, go on, go on, seriously, get, yeah, we're doing the same thing to the final side as well, so, that is the back of the chest, once you've done that to the back, let's come to the right hand side, and like I said, we'll be doing the same thing, so, starting from the bottom left hand corner, going from left to right, we do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian, then, starting from the left hand side, we go up by one, then, the next one we go up by two, Third one, we got by one. Then we just fill the entire area in with obsidian. And then that will be almost, very much almost, because we do have the top of this thing to do as well. That will be the base of the chest. The bit that you can actually stuff things inside of, we will have that complete. Once we've put the top on this thing, because the top is actually patterned. The top's actually kind of interesting. I quite like it. I didn't actually know it looked like this in the slightest. So you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. And just to show you guys like, a bit of a more interesting view you want to have something which should look like that except of course going all the way around as you guys know so once you've got that taken care of guys this is what you want to do next come all the way up to the top of your chest looking down on top of this top face Starting from the back, we can start from the back, we want to find the two middle blocks in the back, it's actually these ones right here, you guys will be able to see. Um, starting from the two center blocks at the back top of the chest, we want to, coming towards us, do a row of two obsidian. We then want to do three rows of two black, so that'll be one, two, three. Then stemming from this left black wall coming forwards, we want to do one lime green, one cyan one dark green, one lime green. Stemming from the right black wall, we want to do one lime green, then two dark green, one lime green. Then either side of the two middle blocks, we want to do light blue clay. Like I said, like either side of those two middle blocks. So it wants to look a little something like this, so it's like a mini eye of ender. What we can then do is do obsidian going all the way around the top, of the chest. So just going all the way around the top of the chest, we want to do a layer of obsidian. That's only one block thick, guys. We don't want to fill the entire top of the chest in. So only one block thick, go all the way around the top of the inside of the chest with obsidian. Then fill the entire top of the chest in with black wool. So you then, after you've done the obsidian, you then want to fill this fang in with black wool. And then we'll be able to stare into the void slash eye of ender at the top of the chest and then of course we've got to do the lid we've got to do the lid for the chest uh which is actually quite easy as well if we could actually fill this thing in with black wool it's proving more difficult than it looks guys don't don't shout at me it's proving more difficult than it looks we'll fill in the lid and we'll add all of the other necessary things afterwards because we've got some purple sparkles to add later on as well so that's what you want to have for the top of the chest makes it look a little bit more interesting than just filling it in with black or obsidian once you've got that taken care of this is what you want to do next guys so we have to fill in the let's fill in the largest parts of the lid first of all guys so once you've got that taken care of the top of the chest let's fill in the lid it's quite easy so um yeah, okay, this is the easiest way to do it. So starting from the bottom left-hand corner of your chest, so the lid of the chest right here, you guys can see, on top of the left-hand corner, you want to place one obsidian going up, then on top of that, do a light blue stained clay, then do two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian, and then going right, we're going around clockwise, we then want to go right by one the light blue clay, then two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian, then a clay underneath it. Then we go by two of the obs go down by two of the obsidian, then one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian, one clay. Then going left, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian one clay so you want to have something which should look like this then fill in the center of the area with god damn it fill in the center of the area with black wool so 
you guys can see exactly how this is shaping up. Once this is filled in with black wool, we actually want to do an almost identical thing to the back. And I say almost identical because obviously it's, it's not quite this, but it's very, very similar, I'll tell you. Very, very similar. So similar. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like that for the inside of the lid. Now, for the outside of the lid, we want to come to the back and we want to do almost the exact same thing so we want to have the same pattern on the outs on the outside like going all the way around the outside so where we have the obsidian and the light blue clay like on the inside of the lid we want to have the exact same formation on like the top of the lid except you know how we filled the center of the thing in with black wool well you don't want to do that for the outside or the top of the lid you don't want to do that you want to fill it in with obsidian so where you would have used black wool for the inside of the lid and we did we just want to fill the center of this thing in with obsidian and then we can move on to the next bit which is obviously going to be like the sides of the lid so the top bottom back and that's actually going to be quite easy as well except it is it, it's slightly more difficult than, than I'd like it and that's just because we're kind of like dealing with a weird angle but that is what you want to have for the very back of the lid guys once you've got that taken care of we can now move on to the next bit so Coming to the left hand side of the lid, this is what we want to do. So, starting with this empty space that we have right here, this bottom left hand corner empty space, going up on top of this, do this sequence of blocks. Do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian like that what you then want to do starting from the bottom going all the way up to the top you want to take the first clay extend it that or extend it right by one miss one and then extend that so you want to take the first and the third clay and extend them to the right each by one then just completely fill in the area with obsidian and we're actually going to be repeating this pattern going all the way around the lid so like we did for the bottom it's not going to be mirrored it's actually going to be literally this except it's going to be at different angles so it will seem quite different so that's the left hand side um, then going to the top because we're doing this in a clockwise fashion coming to the top here so now going from left to right starting from this top left hand corner we want to do one obsidian one clay Two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian. And then we want to take the first and the third clays and we want to extend them this time coming towards us, so bridging the gap. Then you can fill the rest of the area in with obsidian. Do you guys see how this is working? I'm sure you do. Once you've done that to the top, we then want to come to the left hand side. So the left hand side, we now want to start with this top right hand corner. Do you guys see how this is working out? Do you guys see why we're starting where we're starting and how the pattern's going where it's going? So we want to start with this top right hand corner this time and starting from this coming down we want to do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian. We then want to take the first clay and the third clay and extend them coming towards us which is towards the front of the chest each by one so we want to have this pattern now for the very last side which is underneath here we want to have and now we're starting from here we're starting from this like top left hand corner that we have this corner that's closest towards us so um starting from here going to the right we want to do the sequence of blocks we want to do one obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay e, one clay then two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay then one obsidian we then want to take the first and the come on the first and the third clays extend them towards the front of the chest each by one and you just want to have something which should look a little bit like this that's definitely the most difficult angle to do things from and once you've done that you should end up with something that should look a little bit like this so you want to have that we're missing a couple of things aren't we you guys know what we're, what we're missing right we're missing the latch, and we're missing the sparkly, sparkly end, 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 end of sparkles. So once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come all the way up to the very top of the lid of your chest, and in line with these two center black wall blocks that are closest towards the top right hand, top front center of the chest, you want to on top of this left hand black wall, we want to go up by one the white wall, then coming towards us, we want to do one white, then two gold. 
And then going right of each one of those four blocks, we want to do a gold eat. So we, th we then want to have something which should look like this, and that is the latch of the chest, so that's how it locks itself. Once you've got that taken care of, it's now time for us to do the ender sparkles. So here's what we want to do, guys. This is actually difficult to explain, but it's actually quite kind of an easy concept of how to place these. So, let me give you a for instance. With the magenta wall looking down onto the actual empty black space of the chest, starting from the top right hand corner first of all, so here, we want to move in one diagonally towards the center, so on top of this block, and we want to place a magenta. Now, moving down to the bottom corner here, in the same place, we want to place another magenta, except it wants to be one block higher. Then, moving around to the bottom left hand corner, except one block in, of course, we want to place another magenta, except it wants to be two blocks off the ground. And then, for the fourth magenta that we want to place, it's in the top left hand corner, it's in the same place, except it wants to be four blocks off the ground. So, do you guys see how we've done that? So, the first one, which is the top right hand corner, is one block. Then the second one, same position, bottom right hand corner, it's one block off the ground. Third one, two blocks off the ground. Fourth, three blocks off the ground. You guys can see how it goes. Now, the position of the next magenta is now going to be in the top right hand corner again, except it's going to be one block closer. So, diagonally towards the center, one block closer. And this time, this magenta is going to be four blocks off. Oh, uh, that will be... Yeah, it will be four blocks off the ground. So, that's one, two, three, four. And that will be here. So it wants to be one higher than the previous. And then the next one wants to be five blocks off the ground. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. Bam. Then the next one will be six. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Magenta. The next one will be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. It'll end up looking like this. So let me destroy the cyan. And then we can do the next layer. And I believe that the next layer will be the final layer. If not, we'll play some more. It can actually go as high as you want, but just to show you guys how this is working out, we're doing some nice, lovely ender sparkles. So, yeah, the next layer is going to be the final layer. So, the next one, we're starting right the way up in this top right-hand corner again. We're actually in the empty space in between the mini Eye of Ender now, and I believe that the last one, we, we went up by seven, so this one will be eight. So, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Magenta. Then nine, one, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, magenta. Then at ten, we're just going to use the previous one to judge it, and then this one will be eleven. So we just want to be here. Nope, one block higher. So it's the exact same process. You're just basically going around in a spiral shape, and you're just coming in diagonally with each layer once you've done a full rotation, and you're just placing a magenta. And uh, the reason, of course, that I stopped the Ender Sparkles with the third layer, not only are you getting to the top of the chest in location, but... Uh, if you go in any closer, they're all going to be next to each other, so it's a very subtle bit of sparkles, very subtle, but you could add more if you wanted to. I, I figured that that actually looks quite good, and there's an actual logical way to explain it, rather than just placing them all about the place. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just, you could just place them all over the place. You could just throw one there, for instance, and, um, you could just, like, take this corner, and you could throw one... Uh, there. You could throw one there. You guys can see what I'm doing. You can just throw them all over the place if you aren't happy with the base amount. So if you wanted to make it look a little bit more sparkly, obviously that one has went a little off the reservation there. It should probably be a little lower, but I'm going to leave it because why not? You guys get the idea. You can have as many or as few as you like, and I think that it only adds to it. So why don't we destroy this gold block and why don't we actually look at this thing? Because at this point, we have actually completed our ender chest. So let's get this off, user interface, throw away, goodbye. So you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this, guys. And I don't actually want to go all the way around the chest even though I am because this is by far my favorite view this is this is the coolest view of it so hopefully you guys like this hopefully you've managed to make it hopefully it wasn't too difficult to follow along with if you guys have liked it and if you've managed to make it I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like a favor or a share or all free if you want to go crazy give this video a like favorite share if you wouldn't mind guys feel free to comment down below what do you want to see me make next the reason that I made this was because after my first ender chest uh, you guys suggested that I should make 
make an open one, and honestly, the open one is a lot better than the closed one. Although, I'd probably make both of them if uh, if I had a world filled with items and stuff, because it does make sense that you'd have both of them just so that you could actually compare them. So, hopefully you guys like this. Feel free, my favourite share if you wouldn't mind. Comment down below, let me know what you want to see me make next, because I do take suggestions seriously, highly seriously, guys. So, if you wouldn't mind, like, favourite share, all of that. Comment down below, check out the con system, there will be my Minecraft item tutorials playlist in there, which I'm sure that you guys might be very interested in. If you like stuff like this, you'll find loads of it in there. And check out any of the videos, that'll be linked along with it, there'll be a lot of cool videos I'm linking along with it as well. So thank you very much for watching guys, like very, very sure if you wouldn't mind, and I'll see you in the next video.